Welcome back to the show. Surfing action now as we bring you our first of two reports from the Swatch Girls Pro from France. Girls Pro is only in two days now, and um, almost all the girls are here already. So we're gonna go for a little practice session this morning. Tarsagor is like the best atmosphere for a contest. It's just filled and like not only are they like all into the surfing, but everyone's like surfing down the side themselves. And yeah, they're so into it here. It's, it's really special. Leland, like around Hossegor or Senos, uh, it's probably one of the best beach breaks in the world. So we're really lucky to get a, to have an event here, and uh, they they choose the best bank. France is very difficult to compete in because the tides are really drastic and always changing. Um, it's not something I'm used to from Hawaii. It's really shifty every like. 10, 15 minutes or so. I, I know the waves are always changing, so I think strategy and where people position is going to be very crucial. The low tide is going to have current, the, it's going to break outside, and at a higher tide, it's going to be like maybe a better peak with the right and left, so you just have to, to think ahead. I just love coming here and performing in front of the big crowds, and it kind of gives me that US Open sensation or that type of arena and, and, and crowd that you have to perform for. Coming back and trying to defend the title is definitely very special. Uh, it's definitely a task at hand, you know. Usually you get a target on your back and uh, people want to get you from the year prior. I have an extra pressure because I want to do good. People around me want me to do good. Having uh, my friends around me is an advantage and also knowing that those beaches is an advantage. But. Uh, it's all about handling the pressure. With the world's best female surfers in Hossegor for the Swatch Girls Pro France, a few of the girls took some time off before the contest and went to a Pelot Basque lesson with local French star Pauline Hado. We're going to try to play Pelot Basque here. It's a really like typical sport from the southwest of France. And uh, it's pretty fun. It's a bit like squash. up the pallet skills with varying degrees of success but very quickly they were all ready for a competitive game. <laughs> so Swoko won the contest, she's the winner and uh, I think now we're gonna have lunch and try to play golf. Let's go! Au revoir! <laughs> Straight from the start, the level of surfing was high. One of the standouts in the early heats was Australian Rebecca Woods, who surfed well throughout the first day. American Demi Bolsterly showed some nice cutbacks and finished her highest scoring wave with the floater of the contest. Kim Vito from Guadeloupe impressed with some stylish round back cutbacks and also moved into the round of 48. Leanne Curran, daughter of the legendary Tom Curran, is at home on these French breach breaks. And the 24-year-old surfs some powerful and stylish turns in Le Penon, progressing into the main round. In the 
round of 48. Last year's winner, Courtney Conlogue, started her title defence, and the world number three was straight away challenged by Hawaiian Nage Malamed, who was on far on one of the lefts in Le Penon. But Conlogue answered back straight away with a really aggressive first turn, then telling herself up for a nice roundhouse cutback. Incredible to see how she keeps the style in her powerful surfing. This really is women's surfing at its best, and a perfect 10 for the American. Then when I saw a wave come in, I wanted to get my exchange going. It ended up being an amazing wave, and uh, I was very fortunate to get that 10, you know. That wave just kept going and going, and I just remember my first turn, my last turn, and it felt pretty good, so I uh, definitely stoked to have got through that. Conlow's good friend Sage Erickson needed a good result to stay on the CT. The 22-year-old made her intentions clear. I just knew that with this win coming up, I'd really have to get busy and, and try and be aggressive on the waves. And um, it went my way, which I'm so thankful, and um, just to get into that next round. Another standout in the round of 48 was Silvana Lima. The experienced Brazilian also put on a powerful display in the small waves and moved through to the round of 24. Paulina Doe, number 10 in the CT rankings and Europe's best surfer, was the one woman the French crowds have been waiting for. But she faced tough competition and young Australian Killy Andrew posted a 9.4 with her best wave, with a fellow Australian Brittany Nickel also thriving in the messy waves, posting a 9. As her mum watched from the beach, the pressure was on for Ado. Despite surfing well and posting a 7.5 with her best wave, it wasn't enough and the French woman was out of her home event. I felt really frustrated because uh, I felt lost in the water. I couldn't hear any scores. I, um, the, the wind was pretty strong. The waves were messy. And uh, I, f I felt like I didn't surf. I didn't have any opportunities in, in the heat. And we'll rejoin the women in France in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere.